Biomechanics examines forces acting on the body and the effects of these forces. During a lesson of senior physical education at St Paul's, I performed to the best of my ability a javelin throw. To complete this event, several biomechanical principles need to be used efficiently to give the athlete the best throw possible. One of the most important principles in biomechanics is summing, mo summing momentum. Momentum is created when an object moves in a direction. The momentum can be increased by either increasing the mass of the object or the velocity that it travels at. In this presentation, my performance in the javelin throw during a grade 11 class will be analysed and compared to a professional thrower and the differences between the two performances will be shown and how I can improve my technique. Overall, through analysing my technique compared to the professionals is missing multiple parts that create an efficient javelin throw and therefore is not very effective at throwing the javelin as far as possible. For example, when I'm completing my run up, the beginning of my throw, my speed is approximately 4.454 meters per second, which is much less than the professional speed of 7.35, which is a difference of 2.81 meters per second. This means that the momentum that is transferred into the javelin when it is released is decreased compared to the professional's throw. This relates to Newton's third law of motion, which states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. This means that when I throw the javelin, the javelin is also pushing against me and therefore the more energy and force that I am able to put into my throw, this will increase the distance that the javelin will travel. As well as the mass of the professional is larger than mine due to training completed in preparation for the event, that has increased the muscle mass of the professional, which in turn creates more momentum which is transferred into the javelin when it is released. Another factor that greatly affects the performance of the athlete in the javelin event is the angle of release of the javelin. As seen by this picture, the ja professional's angle of release of the javelin is 35 degrees compared to my angle of 32 degrees. Because of the difference of 3 degrees, my performance and the professional's, the professional's javelin flies further due to the increased height of the throw compared to my lower angle, which leads to the javelin landing earlier than if it was released at a higher angle. Another factor of my throw in this event is the stage before I release the javelin. During this stage, I do not extend my arm back as far as possible, leading to a smaller space in which the javelin has to be up speed compared to the professional's. This relates to signing momentum as due to the decreased acceleration gained from the small wind-up distance, the amount of force put into the javelin is increased as force is calculated through F equals MA, with M being the mass and A being the acceleration, and therefore with an increased acceleration, the force is gr increased greatly due to this. The javelin is travelling at a slower speed than compared to the professionals, as they have approximately 70 centimetres with which to speed up the javelin's flight while well, I only have approximately 51 to build up speed before releasing my throw. To improve the technique of my javelin throw, there are a number of training drills I can complete to help perform my technique. First of all, to assist in some momentum, the first part of my technique I can improve is my run-up. During my run-up, I do not reach a very fast pace, meaning that compared to the professional with the faster run-up, they already create more momentum in their throw than I do. Some drills I could do to perform to improve this First of all, using the sled provided by my school to improve my explosive power and working on having a set run-up that I use for every throw, instead of trying to adjust halfway through my run-up. With a set run-up, I'll be able to know exactly when I begin to perform the block, when I transfer all my energy into the javelin throw, and therefore can throw from as close to the line as possible to increase the length of my throw. The second part of training I can work on is conditioning my body for the event mainly increasing my muscle mass to assist with creating as much momentum as possible in my throw. The law for force is F equals MA. This means that force can be calculated by multiplying mass by acceleration. Therefore, by completing squats and other strength building activities during my training, I can increase my muscle mass and therefore improve my throw. And also, it will help when I throw the javelin. As well as improving the momentum I create, I can work on my angle of release. As shown by the example throw, my angle of release is 30 degrees compared to the expert's 35 degrees. Therefore, if I increase my angle by 3 degrees, my throw will improve as I'll achieve more height during my throw. Some activities I could do to improve this are standing throws, as seen by this video, which will help me to work on my technique of actually throwing the javelin, and also three step throws, which help me to develop the block which I use to throw the javelin. 
Finally, to affect the last component of my throw, I'll perform drills from a standing position and practice extending my arm fully before releasing, instead of the partial extension I complete in the video shown. This will allow me to increase the speed of the javelin before I release it, and therefore increase the summer momentum which will in turn cause the javelin to travel further as combined with the improved angular release and improved momentum as well as improved muscle mass and speed, overall my javelin performance will improve and therefore my throw will become more effective. Overall, if I work on improving the clear faults of my performance in the javelin throw through my training programs as well as build my muscle throughout through conditioning training alongside my technique training, my performance will improve tremendously and therefore I will have a more effective throw than before I analyze my performance and compare it to the professionals. And overall, through the training programs provided by the school, as well as the conditioning training I have done completed by myself, my javelin performance overall will improve tremendously.